And the 3D uh, experience is about, it's about trying to communicate that, you know, I want to create an idea. I want, I want people to, to, to feel what it's like to be Spider-Man. You know, I want people to feel uh, that sense of flight. And when you're in an IMAX 3D environment, you get that sensation. It's almost a physical sensation. It tricks your brain into thinking you're actually in that event. And, and that's really what it was about. You know, the whole thing about when you're making a movie like this, especially with a character like Peter Parker that becomes Spider-Man, is it's about wish fulfillment. It's about this, uh, uh, the, the, the experience of flight. And that's what I wanted to embrace. This time around, I wanted to uh, a score that had the dimension and the f the muscle of a of a big uh, theatrical score, but I wanted to have a contemporary component to it. And, and when I talked to Hans right out of the gate, I, I had wanted to use uh, a, a contemporary artist. I didn't know who, and then he came up with uh, Pharrell, who he had done some work with, and it turned into this magical alchemy. And once Pharrell got on board, Johnny Marr came in and Alicia Keys came in, Kendrick Lamar came in and contributed, uh, Junkie XL, Mike Einzinger from, from the band Incubus. I mean, these really extraordinarily talented people uh, came in to contribute to the score, in a, I think in an amazing, extraordinary way. Spider-Man at his core is a trickster. He is a, a funny, irreverent punk rock kid, right? He's having a blast being Spider-Man because his life as Peter Parker is kind of messed up and difficult and he has to deal with all the things we all have to deal with. But that Spider-Man character, that live comedic spirit is something that Andrew embodies uh, to the bone. He's known and, uh, and been a fan of that character since he's been three years old. And I think uh, there is a, a humor and a levity to his performance as Spider-Man. It's very special. What Spider-Man is about is service and about helping the other uh, helping other people out. And there is an actualization when you're a kid and you're at that age and you have to learn how to protect yourself. You know that's why people put on capes and and put on masks is they want to feel what it's like to be powerful because you need that in order to survive. And there is something really. Um, empowering about that message to kids and, and when they see that Spider-Man character they feel both a sense of protection but also a sense of empowerment and I think you know that's the, the the really wonderful thing about that character and I think why it belongs in the world and why it's been embraced not just by by kids but by parents is because there's that that message of empowerment and it doesn't come without sacrifice it doesn't come uh, easy necessarily but it is uh, a message that's universal and I think it's a message that's profound.